Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Last time, we successfully made it through the Key Cavern and picked up the Pegasus Boots, and the Owl told us that we need to go to the Yarna Desert. So let's go! We're gonna head right over there right away today, and it's gonna be all good. Alright, now we'll start by heading this way, through here. Yeah, the Yarna Desert is actually pretty far to the east. Let's see what all Rira has to say. Maybe she has some more insight. Or he, or whatever. Uh-huh. Oh, the southeast of the island. The Angler Key, hey? Alright. <laughs> this is a nice chest. It almost reminds me of the, uh community chest joke that Will Smith makes. Oh, this is community chest, and but a fine community it is. Yeah, there it is. Uh, okay, well we want to start by heading down this way. Yeah, I even got a clip in. Fantastic. It's been a while since I... I don't know, maybe I'm just getting lazy in my retirement, but I feel like I don't use as many clips as I want to, but... Again, it's probably just me getting lazy in my retirement. Who knows? But if you open up this... Yeah! We get a secret seashell. I believe that's number seven, is that correct? Yes, it is, fantastic. How many of these darn things do we need to get anyway? Okay, now what do we have here? Ah, we have Animal Village and Martha's Bay. All right, well, what's if we slash this bush? Aha! Yeah, we got a little area here. Now, if you tried to come here earlier, yeah, there's nothing you can do because of these these uh, green blocks, but now, yeah, you just roll right through them. And that's how you get to the other side there, so just... Nope, damn it. Nope, get out of there, Link. Oops. Okay, now let's head over here, and if we do that, we have made it to the Animal Village. All right, let's take a look around and see what we got here. Yeah, we have a bunny. Huh? Right? Lazy Walrus? I'm talking about Lazy Walrus. Let me guess. By the way, I said, by the let me guess, we're gonna have to. Okay, I, I wasn't sure if you could. Uh... Okay, I, you know, I don't think there's anything in those pots, but. Yes? A song from Marin? What does Marin have to do with anything? They know who she is? And what do we have here? Yeah, I am sure Donovich, the mermaid statue. Oh, this work is not complete. Uh, sure. Okay, very good. So we have an artist and... We have a lot of things we're going to be dealing with here in the Animal Village. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, this one's only... Well, you'll see it's only like four screens. Ah, a dream shrine, eh? Well, I'll have to let you know about that, but remember that for a little bit later here. What do we have here? Uh-huh. Flowers? Uh-huh. A hibiscus, eh? All right. Also, notice that music is uh, from SimCity there, which we'll, we'll get into a little bit later. All right, I'm just checking things out here in the... In the village here. Oh, right. Okay, so they seem to have a thing for Marin here, who we happen to know. I'll have to talk to her. And I'll talk to that. Well, actually, I'll go talk to this guy. It's fine. I'll show you this here. Rick'em, rack'em, I ran out of ingredients. Oh. Well, let me guess. We're going to have to bring him some, aren't we? Well, if you go down here and wade into the water, yeah, we have another one of those portals. Whee! Yeah, now we can easily warp back here without having to go through all that stuff again. And that makes life a lot easier. So that's why you entered that's why I entered that uh, portal way, way earlier, so we could activate it. Okay, let's get the Pegasus boots back, because it just makes dashing. It makes dashing a lot easier. Yeah. The animal village is pretty small. I don't know if you can really call even call it a village. Alright. Uh, also, by the way. Sometimes you can run into trees and things happen, but just keep that in mind. Okay, what do we have here? 
The Yarna Desert. What do we have here? Hmm, this person wants Marin, eh? Okay. Interesting. Alright. Well, there isn't a whole lot we can do for right now. So, let's just go ahead, uh, and actually, remember the animal up there said something about a dream shrine? Well, let's go check that out. I want to go back this way. Whee! Alright. Yeah, sometimes if you bump if you bump trees, fairies can pop out, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but also sometimes things don't quite go exactly according to plan. Uh, by the way, is it over here? Uh, I'm just trying to think here. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I think it's around here. I know it's around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. If you come here with the stick and talk to Terran. Uh huh. Nope. You cannot have my stink. My stick. Okay, for my stink. Sure, you can borrow my stink. You can borrow it, Terran. What are you going to do with it, exactly? <laughs> After doing that, we get the honeycomb. All right, fantastic. Very nice, and we'll be doing something with that uh, in a little bit. All right, well, let's head back to the main village now. And you could have done that a little bit later, but I was in the area and I had thought about it, so let's just go ahead and just go ahead get that done. All right, now back in the main village, I actually want to head up here and into this building. Hmm, it seems like there's there but a bed. Hmm. Uh-oh. Is this like Final Fantasy VI when we enter Cyan's dream? Oh, boy. Now, we have these things here. Now, they actually do a good amount of damage if you're not careful. Uh, so you can either take them out that way, or the easier way... Yeah. Take them out with your Pegasus boots. It's definitely the easiest way to do it. And they also mirror your movement, so you just want to be careful for that. See, it's just a regular sword slash doesn't take care of them, but a guardian acorn does! Alright, very good. Yeah, let's go up this way. And I believe there's a chest up here. And we get 100 rupees. I'm very happy. I'm always happy when I get rupees. Now, in order to advance, you need the Pegasus boots, so... It's very important that you go, uh, that you, that you use them to go up here. And take this chest, and we get... The Ocarina! Yeah! That's awesome. And we get the Ocarina. Very, very, very nice. So, by the way, this is where the Ocarina is first introduced. Uh, and this part of the game here. Uh, you know, it's it, obviously it, a, it's a lot... Uh, obviously a lot... Uh, used a lot more in the in subsequent games, especially Ocarina of Time, but it was introduced in this game, which I think is really cool. Oh. It sure is. Sure. And of course he can do it. Alright. It really is a nice song. It sure does. Yes, it does. And for doing that, we've learned the Ballad of the Windfish. I'll do that. Uh huh. Oh, I see. Well, keep that in mind. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. Alright. Very good. Okay, very good. And I've already done that with her, so fantastic. Okay, 
Well, now that we've done that, I actually want to make my way back to the Mabe Village. Or back to the Animal Village, rather, and I think you have to go back here to trigger this next event. Very good. And we want to... Oh, uh, and actually, let's get my Pegasus boots out so that I can go faster. And I believe if we go in here... Remember how we got that honeycomb earlier? Well, yeah. Now, if you come in here with the honeycomb, he's got a little thing next to him. It sure is. Nah. They're a rare delicacy, eh? Okay, fine. And if we're doing that, we get a pineapple. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Good to know. Good to know. Now, I don't know if you have to go and tr uh, talk to him one more time to trigger it, but I'm, I'm going to talk to him one more time just to make sure, just so I can trigger the next event that needs to happen. Again, I think it's taken care of, but... Okay, so he's thinking of Merit. Now, once you do that... By the way, there is a cave up there, but I can't do anything with it just yet, so... All right, so let's go back, and let's go see if Marin would be willing to join us. Whee! All right, well, we saw Marin earlier. So let's just go talk to her. We know how to get to her, and we'll just get her to help us out. Is she be willing to come with us, maybe? So she can walk to talk to this dude? Who knows? Hey! Where's Marin? Huh. All right, fine. So apparently we need to go, uh... She's, uh... She likes to go stare by the ocean. Well, I guess let's go see if we can find her. Now, to get to her, the best way to do it is just go all the way down here. And just start making our way east. And I believe... Yeah, I believe she ends up around here somewhere. I'll take a piece of power, though. I wonder where all these pieces of power come from. Is there, like, a major Triforce or something? Okay, where the heck is she? I know she's around here somewhere. Oh, there she is. Sure. I like this music. Uh huh. How does he know? Yeah, how would I have gotten here if there was nothing there? Oh, wow. Uh huh. Oh, that's cool. Is he like a genie or something? <laughs> yeah, I'm listening. It's fine. Uh, no, you don't. Trust me. There is not another woman in my life. I promise. Oh, I like it. So in this, in this moment, Link's kind of a jerk because he's like, yeah, I don't really care about you. Hey, you want to come help me? And then he lifts Marin over his head like she's a treasure? Yeah, and the only other time in the game where we get the introductory music before uh, moving along. So that's great. Okay, let me check my time and I'll be right back. Okay, now we could right he head right over to the Yarna Desert, but where's the fun in that? There's actually a lot of stuff we can do with Marin uh, for some little side fun with the game here. But first, I'm going to get these 50 rupees. Um, I could go to the right, but that just links us back to the other side of the world. 
and I don't need to go over there right now. So, uh, in the DX version of the game, there's actually a few things that we can do with Marin that you can only do, uh, that you can only do while she's a part of your team. So, there's a few photographs that we can get that you have to take now. Uh, I don't care about the Guardian Acorn. One of them is this very, very, very southwestern part of the map, and if you go here... Oh, another moment. Yes. It'll be our secret place that everybody can see. Now, Link is a mute, man. Didn't you know that? Uh, shh. Wait, what? What do you mean while nobody's around? Did that guy just sneak up on us? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's head back to the village now. There's. Oh, I'm sorry. There's one other thing I want to show you. Check this out. If you get the shovel out... Yeah! Dig it! Dig it to the center of the earth! Yeah, Marin encourages you to, to dig for some reason, which is fine. Don't quite understand that. By the way, Marin can also... she has no problem running, so that's good. Sometimes when you have people following you, you're like, WHY ARE YOU RUNNING?! That's so annoying. I mean, I don't think they actually talk like that, but... Alright. Eh, hey, don't worry about it! Uh-huh. And all the kids with, while Marin's on your team say the same thing. Like, where y'all two going? Uh-huh. To that secret place? Okay, let's see what happens if we, uh, fall down here. Wait. Hey! The photographer is here! Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm fine. We'll go, <laughs> and we'll go look at that photo a little bit later. Okay, uh, one other picture we can take in town with, uh, and if you go here and stand, yeah, we're gonna take a photo here. Hello. I sure am. All right, fine, get in here, Taryn. <laughs> sure, wait, mushroom, we had one of those earlier. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go home now. All right. You know what? I just realized something. That chicken is bothering me. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. I don't think. I think. I don't think anything happens if you do it over and over again. Uh, let me just double check, but I don't think so. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and eventually she's like, yeah, I secretly love that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. What? Those pots got in my way. All right. Oh, I'm sure you have. Yes, this is a video game. You're supposed to look at other people's stuff. That's how video games work. Duh. Uh, okay. The other one of the other things I want to show you is this. Watch this. Uh, sure. Great. And now I'm, apparently Marin's gonna try to win me a prize. All right. Very good. Hey, wait, wait a minute! That isn't a prize! <laughs> she grabbed the shop owner. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> yep, Marin's a pro. What do you mean pros aren't allowed in here? <laughs> she kicks us out. Oh, that's funny. And then you can just go in and play the trendy game uh, like normal, so that's funny. Okay, very, very, very good. Um, is there anything else we can do with Marin? Let's see. Uh, oh. What if we play Marin's song? Hey! 
I'm getting better! Oh yeah. Alright. Okay. I believe that's all we can do with Marin. If there's anything else I forgot, just let me know and I'll and I'll load it up there. Uh, okay. Let's see. I believe now uh, there's something... Yeah, 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 yeah. If I go up here... Yeah, remember how we couldn't get in here earlier because of the... Uh... I needed the Pegasus boots? Now... I can start making my way through this cave. I try not to get hit while I'm at it. There we go. Good job, Link. And now I can get this chest. And in this chest we get... Yeah, 50 rupees, not bad. Okay, now... Let's see, how am I going to get out of here? Uh, I'll just walk back out, I think. Probably the best way to do it. There we go. Okay. Well, now... Okay, that's all we can do with Marin, so let's go ahead and head back to the uh, animal village and see if we can wake that stupid walrus. And I'm sure there's, again, if there's more that you can do with Marin, please let me know and I'll, I'll get to it. All right. I hope we get to hear this nice song one more time. Hey, walrus. Let's do it. Now let's let him sleep. All right, we'll let him sleep some more. And we'll let him sleep for another few seconds. And now I'm done with that. Sure. Oh, he's perking up. Wow. <laughs> Did he just commit suicide? <laughs> Ah, uh, that's great. Okay. You got it. And now Marin's gonna hang out in the Animal Village. Let me check my time real quick. I think I'm almost out of time. Okay. It turns out I have a couple more minutes, so I can go ahead and finish up my time here in the Yarna Desert. The Yarna Desert's not very big, so I'll be able to wrap up this area pretty quickly. Alright, let's take a look around. Let's see what we can find here. These levers here. Damn it. I got a heart that I need. So what you want to, what you want to do is just keep going north. Uh-oh. Oh, it sounds like mini boss music. Whoa! And now we have it's time for a mini boss battle against. Hey, you remember this thing from uh a link to the past. He's back. If I had an ice rod, I could defeat him real quick. Remember you just use an ice rod to freeze him and you can take him down in one shot. However, he's not as easy in this battle. Got it! And for defeating him, uh, the Land Mola, we get the Angler's Key. Wah! Oh, let's just take this right here. Oh. There we go. Just because I need money and I'm a sucker for punishment. Take these guys down real quick. Yeah! We're doing good. Nope. By the way, don't touch the cacti, otherwise you take some damage. Sea bears foam, sleep bears dreams. Both them in the same way crash. I have no idea what you're talking about. But whoa! Are those pokies from the legend of, or from uh from uh Super Mario World? Man, there's a lot of crossover between these two worlds in this uh, in this game. Well you want to start by going down over here. For two reasons. One, because it allows us to complete the Yarna Desert. It also allows us to get our eighth secret seashell. Fantastic. All right. Very good. And now we need to. Oh, damn it. Now we need to go. Just be very careful. You want to make your way out of here. Wait, what? The owl's back! Yes. Huh? I'll leap from the top and you will reach your goal. What the heck is he talking about? You have to wait till next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. 
Find, follow me on Twitter, BCSBusterLP. Check out my donations page. And as always, take care, y'all.